For a while we fought against the plan of God in my life For a minute This is my sister, uh, Timothy She was an Ebony Fashion Fair model She was the first African American to model Jordan's jeans She passed in 2009 I started Hair Dreams by Crystal in 2008 But I've been in the hair care industry for 30 years I've been in the hair replacement industry for 20 years But I promised her before she passed as a matter of fact, let me just say this. Before she passed, she never wanted anybody to see who she was. She never wanted anybody to see her as I am. But before she passed, she told me that I could show people who she was because she knew what I was trying to do. So I promised her that I would give her and others like her the opportunity to feel good about herself. So Hair Dreams by Crystal makes you look good on the outside so you can feel good on the inside. And the thing is, People that have hair loss have a hair dream. Hair loss reaches across all social, racial, and economical boundaries. It's all over the world. Um, so I'd like to invite to the stage right now, Congressman Al Green, your business sits in his district. And I know your sister doing music tonight, you're all thinking, since we've been together, loving you forever. Well, this is the Congressman, this is not the singer right here, but he has a proclamation recognizing what you have done. Thank you so much. Uh, Deborah is so wonderful. It's such a wonderful thing to be in her company. She's such an enchantress. She I'm is... voting for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is so vivacious, so curvaceous. Curvaceous. <laughs> uh, she is comely. She is portly. She is stately. And uh, she Ow, was she about to. <laughs> She's about to let me have one hug, because I'm one hug short. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here tonight with Crystal. And I want you to know that we are proud to say to the world that we have some outstanding personalities right here in Houston, Texas, who are doing things for people the world over. I think this merits a special expression of appreciation for what she's doing to help help many people who, who are in need of self-esteem. You know, your hair uh, really plays a significant part in how you feel about yourself. <laughs> Uh, I, I have quite a few people to comment from time to time. And, uh, the, the comment that I hear most, by the way, is, how does your hair stay so dark? And I always let people know that's a matter of choice. <laughs> Claire all number one. <laughs> Actually, there's a little just for men story here. <laughs> but um, I, 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 on the very, very serious side, uh, your, your story was very touching and uh, it means a lot to me to know that your loss has caused you to become someone else's game because you have not allowed her spirit to lead you and you have consistently been there for others. So tonight as your member of Congress, I am proud to say to you that I have a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Hair Dreams by Crystal Inc. Of course, we mean Crystal herself on the occasion of your 2014 holiday of hope celebration. And this is done on behalf of the constituents of the 9th Congressional District, whom I happen to represent in the Congress of the United States of America under the leadership of the Honorable Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States, twice 44th President of the United States. It was not an accident. 44th President of the United States, still there, 44th President of the United States. And he'll be there for two more years, uh, to the uh, dismay of some and to the great pleasure of others. But continuing with this, um, we are proud to present this to you, and I do so with the words of Ruth Smeltzer. Some measure their lives by days and years, others by heartthrobs, passions, and tears. 
but the surest measure under God's son is what for others in your lifetime have you done. Thank you for what you've done for others in your lifetime. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. I first met Crystal about a year ago when she was sharing to me about the wonderful things that she does for women who are going through chemo and radiation. At that lunch, she didn't even know I had been diagnosed with breast cancer. So we sat there eating lunch. I learned about her sisters. And my son was there at the time when she told me about her sister and the the struggle that she went through when she lost her battle with cancer. So when my son went to get our lunch, I told her that I was diagnosed and I knew that I was supposed to be at this lunch for a reason so that I could help her spread the good word and the good works of what she's doing with Hereby Crystal. So please give her another round of applause and show her love.